Hello, pen friends. A little over five years ago, I drove to the Pike Place Market in Seattle and walked through the crowds to the table of the market pen maker, uh, a gentleman who made kit pens from, from wood and other materials that he sold, mostly ballpoints and rollerballs, but a few fountain pens. And I had been sent there on a mission to buy a pen for my dad and uh, ended up buying a pen for myself. And that kind of kicked off what turned into this crazy thing that became the pen habit. I got into doing these reviews because I was first inspired by Brian Goulet and Stephen Brown, and I had a pretty serious case of Me Too-itis. I wanted to do what they were doing. I wanted to do reviews and, and share because I felt like they had so much knowledge and I was just new to it. So I wanted to share with people what I was learning as I was learning it. And I do have a little bit of an attention. I like attention. I was an actor after all, so that does play into it a little bit. So after my first year of doing The Pen Habit, I was... I was having a rough go of things. Um, I was, I'd been spending money left and right, I mean, probably 20 grand in the first year. Uh, money I didn't have. I was spending a ton of time doing videos. The video quality was okay, but I was spending tons of time doing it. I was dealing with a lot of trolls, and I had not yet developed uh, mechanism for dealing with that. And so it was really, really, all of that together kind of said, you know what, I don't, I'm not sure I want to do this anymore. So I decided to take a break, wasn't sure if I was going to come back or not, but thanks to some support from, especially from Stephen Brown, who has become a friend, um, I did end up coming back and was very grateful I did and have been blown away by what has happened as a result. You know, as of the last time I checked, I think I've got well over 6 million video views, 40,000 nearly subscribers. Uh, it's been a wild ride. I've done over 300 videos, written lots of blog posts and all of that stuff, attended pen shows, traveled around the country, uh, made friends from around the world. It's really been an amazing experience. Toward the end of last season, I got I kind of hit a, a little bit of a wall and, and struggled to get things out. And I said, you know what, I'm going to take a hiatus, my, my usual summer hiatus that I take every year. And uh, when I come back, I should be energized. I'm going to go to the San Francisco show. I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to go to the Chicago show. I'm going to get some energy and, and come back and do it. And I went to those shows and had a great time. And I came back and it wasn't there anymore. Uh, I wasn't, I, this whole season has mostly been a very, very difficult struggle just forcing myself to come into the studio and sit down and do it. I'm not really acquiring things anymore. Um, I'm really not interested in reviewing anymore. I'm not interested in being critical of other people's work anymore. Um, I love my pens. I'll continue to use my pens, but I just don't see myself buying anymore. I don't need anymore. Um, I have found I don't really want anymore, and that makes doing this very difficult. So, after a lot of soul searching and a lot of thinking, um, a lot of talking with some of my, my very good friends, uh, I have decided that it's time for me to break the habit. So, what does that mean for the pen habit? Um, short version is, I will no longer be making videos. I probably won't be doing blog posts. Um, or if I do, I will be doing them very, very infrequently. I am, from this moment, no longer going to do any reviews. Uh, I, reviews in particular are things I do not want to do anymore. And if I do create content, it will probably be a little bit closer to the vlog-style content that I used to, that I did just recently in Arkansas, if I happen to attend a pen show. I won't take down the YouTube channel, but I am going to turn off comments. Um, I will also leave the Pen Habit website up and will turn off comments there as well. I will keep all of the Inky Fingers notebooks that still exist up on the website for as long as they exist, but when those uh, are gone, they are gone for good. I won't be bringing them back unless someone else wants to buy the line from me. And I'm going to move on to other things. For better or for worse, I feel like I've made a mark on the community. and. I hope it's for the better. 
I have brought my background, particularly around videography and lighting and, and sound and things like that, to try to build something that was a quality I was proud of. And for the most part, I think I've done that. And I've seen other folks starting to come in and their skills are improving and the quality of their reviews are improving. And I'm excited to see what else comes along in the community. And, uh, and I am going to focus a little bit more on continuing to lose weight and get down to a healthy weight. I'm going to focus a lot on traveling. I want to get out and see more of the world. I am going to be working on, uh, you know, building up my structure of friends locally and maybe dating a little bit. All of those fun things that are life. I'm going to still play with my dog. He's getting very old and I only have probably a couple years left with him and spend some time working on my house and my yard and just enjoying a little bit more of life. So I want to close by saying a special thank you to a, f a few people. There are so many wonderful people that I've met in this hobby over the last five years that have really made an impact on my life. But there are a few in particular I want to call out especially. Um, to Brian Goulet and Stephen Brown and Aziza uh, Azgarali from uh, Gourmet Pens, I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you. When I was dealing with a lot of crap early on, they were wonderful supports. Both Stephen and Brian were basically my mentors in this space without their knowledge. <laughs> I watched, I think, every video that both of them did to see what they knew. That's how I learned what, I, what little I knew before I was able to pick it up on my own as well. Um, so I, the pen habit could not have happened without those two. They really did lay the path. Um, I have a special group of folks that I interact with at almost every pen show that I go to that have become very close friends to me. Um, Brad Dowdy from The Pen Addict, Lisa and Mike Van Ness from Van Ness Pens, Anna Reinert from The Well-Appointed Desk, and I met her husband Bob for the first time in Arkansas, and I like Bob a lot, So, um, and Father Kyle. Those folks are some of the, the best funniest, smartest, most enjoyable people I know. And they have become dear friends and uh, have also been a huge, huge support to me. And finally, I cannot possibly thank you guys out there enough for the support and the love, the financial support, the, the emotional support, the comments, the questions, sharing your knowledge encouraging me, coming up to me at pen shows. Um, so huge, huge thank you to all of you for your support. So before I close, I just want to say one kind of last thing. I know this is not the first time I have threatened to quit, although the first time was done for a very different reason, um, which was, it was a combination of my overspending and the trolls. And when I decided to come back after that first season, I said something at the time that I meant, which was I was going to make it my mission to civilize the internet. Now, I realize that in a realistic world, one person sitting in his house in Western Washington can't do that. No one person can civilize the internet. But I would like to say this, this hobby in particular is special. There is something very important about this hobby and this passion. People who like this stuff like art. They like words. They like thinking. They are willing to look at life at a slower pace and observe and share and mull. And that is so deeply needed these days in our time. We need the people in this community more than we have ever needed people like us before. And whether you're on the Pen Addict Slack channel or Fountain Pen Network or the FP Geeks forums or 
the Facebook groups or Reddit or Instagram or YouTube comments section or wherever it is you go, please, if I could leave with any parting thought, it would be this. Please treat each other with love. This life is too short. This world is too harsh. The people in this hobby are too good, too smart, too thoughtful, and too considerate to ever do anything different. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making the pen habit possible for this last five years. And I wish you many, 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 many more years of inky fingers. Take care. Bye.